Hello YouTube viewers, this is Axter99 again. Um, this time showing you my kid's newest pet, which is a guinea pig that my wife uh, got a week ago. And she received it free, and she works at a pet store, and they gave her this cage and all. So, pretty good deal for free, I guess. But uh, the problem is, when you look at the guinea pig, uh, it's a lot bigger than like a hamster or something. So, this cage here, it's a pretty standard cage, but it just doesn't give it very much room to run around or do anything. You know, by the time you put a little hut in here for it to hide in and the water bottle and food and everything, it just, you know, doesn't have much room. It'd be about like trapping me in a closet or something like that and expecting me to live. Um, it just doesn't seem adequate for even one guinea pig. So what we've decided to do is build a CNC cage that we found on eBay. We found one that was pre-made, but it was like $140 for a three-level one, and uh, they wanted about $50 in shipping as well. So, um, what we decided to do is actually build our own uh, for less than half the price. What we've actually done is constructed this cage so far, which is only one level right now, but. Uh, probably two maybe three levels uh, probably two just until you know as long as we have one guinea pig but um, it's not complete yet but what we've decided to do is I've wired in a a ramp for it which I haven't put the coroplast on yet and uh, I got the idea from the eBay product to make one big door and this way It'll be easier to clean and reach in and also grab your guinea pig rather than just reaching in through one small hole like most of the cages have. So it opens up real easy. Um, just use a piece of wire for a hook here. We may get an extra, like some kind of a click on clamp or something. But uh, that's kind of what we're doing here for this. And then what this stuff is made out of, what this uh, CNC cage is made out of, is. Uh, we just went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I think you can get these at Target or Walmart or places like Home Depot or Bed Bath & Beyond. It's kind of what they call uh, modular cube wire um, storage units and what they are is 14 inch or 14 and a half inch grids. This one here is 14 inch uh, wire grids and they come with these little uh, connectors to connect them with. Uh, I don't like the connectors. The connectors are pretty much, you know, junk fall off pretty easy and they're hard to get on but if you look we got these 14 inch wire grids um, I'm looking at the internet I'm told you want to make sure you're the wiring grid buying wire grids that you want to measure these these particular holes and make sure they're not more than like an inch and a half inch big because if they are your guinea pig uh, might be able to stick its head through and suffocate itself so be sure you buy some wire grids where you measure these and they're no bigger than an inch and a half uh, inch wide. These here are just a little over an inch so these will work. And what we've done for the, uh, basically what you do is I've bought these and then to connect everything together it's really just using, we bought some four inch uh, zip ties. And you can get a hundred of these for around four dollars at Lowe's or Home Depot or probably Walmart as well. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive, and they work great for wiring up. And you just you know you just connect about three of these for each uh, wire grid connection that you have, and and then you, on the top as well when you put you know the wire on the top or the bottom, you just use these straps. And what you want to do is kind of using a diagonal approach to make them stronger. So if you're going to have a, if you can see this, if you're going to have a, you'll want to use a diagonal approach. So what you want to do rather than going like this where it can slide up and down is you'll want to just use them diagonally and strap them that way. And that way they hold better. And then if you do one in the middle or whatever, I would recommend doing it the opposite diagonal direction uh, to add strength. Now when you first start strapping these in, um, if you're making your cage, you know, it's still going to move up and down and be bendable, which you don't want. And it looks like it's not going to work at all, but once you start putting in the side units, 
and the top and you start wiring everything together um, it's going to hold uh, the way you want once you start strapping everything in. Now what we've done here as well when we made this door uh, and we wanted it to be one solid unit what we've done what I've done is I've actually had three of them side by side this is a three what they call a three wide by one deep uh, or actually 14 by 42 14 times three but what I've done is I've used just another wire grid right here in the middle of the joints and what that does is prevent that actually makes it one solid door so if you see there you can see that I've just added two on top right over the joints to solidify and make this three wide door one solid unit so I'm actually using five of the wire grids right here uh, to make one sturdy door so that's what we've got so far this uh, the stuff in the bottom here is what they call coroplast and you can actually buy this at probably Home Depot I've actually bought mine at a, at a sign store and it ran about fifteen dollars for a four foot by eight foot sheet of it it's four four millimeters thick uh, it's real, it looks like cardboard but it's a lot stronger it's solidified with some kind of plastic and that makes it waterproof and and easy to clean and everything like that um, and what I've done is I've just simply measured my 14 inches across here and then we've added uh, about six inches on each side actually about five inches here on each side um, and the wall, side wall we're going to put on each level and that's to prevent you know urine or wood chips or anything from falling out of the cage and onto your floor because we plan on using this as an indoor cage so so that's um, that's what we're doing for this and then we're going to make it up like another level like I say and I'll be back to show you the the final result when it's done so look for that on the next video signing off